Hey guys and welcome to Crazy Burger. So we're going to be looking at the latest game of the month for September 2023. This is going to be part of Indie Heroes Collection 3 that's releasing February 2024. Without further ado, let's get into the video and look at Bone Marrow. Right guys, let's have a look at Bone Marrow which is from PSCD Games which is also the same company that made... Thunder Paw, if you remember, that was one of the previous games on uh, Game of the Month a few months ago, and that was really good as well. Now, if you're an avid viewer of my channel, or even just a viewer of any <laughs> any type at all, you might remember this game that I featured on a video um, of games we might see at some point on Evercade. And here it is, this is Bone Marrow. Um, I think originally, I'm sure it was from, I thought it was Mega Cats that picked it up, but it's obviously um, PSCD games. Um, and it's kind of a, like an RPG puzzle style game. If you ever played the game Threes, then you might know what to expect a little bit. You obviously need to sort of match up the numbers, double them up, um, and that type of thing. But there's obviously an RPG element in here as well. It's a kind of strategic role-playing board game, so to speak. Um... And it was actually good fun, if I remember, so this one certainly bodes well. It's it's one of those ones that's kind of addictive. Um, and if you've played these, you know how addictive that can actually be when you're matching up the numbers. Pretty simple, but very addictive at the same time. There's a lot of info here. I'm not going to go through it in too much detail. Um, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to look at all the information that Blazer provided on the Evercade site, um, if you want to sort of look at it. But yeah, as usual, you need to update your um, VS or EXP to actually play the latest game of the month. And you can play it all through September or until you actually update the firmware on your device. Anyway guys, let's get into the game and let's find out what it's all about and if it's any good. Let's go. Okay guys, once you've got your uh, VS or EXP updated, you will see the new game of the month, Bone Marrow for September. Um, and this is the information. There's a lot of info here about the game. Obviously it's basically kind of a puzzle slide RPG strategic style game from PSCD Games. Um, some information there. The, the controls are very easy. Basically control it with a D-pad and confirm selection with one of the buttons. Very straightforward. Um, and it's easy to get started well you've got the choice of three characters initially there is only one level to choose from it's a single player game only uh, and you will unlock different levels as you go i think as i see in the map here there's only about four levels however don't be concerned because it does take a little while to actually get through um, the first level itself it probably took me about half an hour or so and nice little speech samples here and i believe it's probably um, a mega drive version that we're playing here if I recall. I know that the players don't actually say that. It's a 16-bit version. Pretty sure it's um, Mega Drive, if I remember correctly. But yeah, it's very much like a kind of a game like Threes or 2048. I can't really remember what the names of those games are. You're kind of trying to match up the same numbers, the same type of um, item here. But it's a lot more than just that. Um, obviously, through you've got daytime, nighttime. When it's daytime, um, you can pick up the different items and when it's night time you can't actually pick them up or feed yourself or up your character at all. You need to try and strategically match up the items and then when it gets to daytime again you can then build up your character's stats on the left hand side. You see there you've got shield and uh, sort of attack and then at the top left you've got your health. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the crown means at all. I guess that's what level you're actually at and it just keeps building up. Um, so this are early parts of the levels. You just keep building up slowly and slowly and, and each sort of enemy that does appear every sort of daytime will be a little bit tougher as you go um, and it should be easy enough at the start here but eventually you will reach a boss so to speak of each sort of level and that will be much much harder and that's when things definitely get a lot more strategic and you need to pay a lot more attention um, to what you're matching up um, so that you build your character appro appropriately um, as you can probably see here at the, the start of the game I guess for about 20 minutes it did feel a little bit boring even though it has got 
some kind of addictive quality to it. The sort of first 20 minutes got a little bit boring. I just felt I was just swiping left and right and up and down just for the sake of it. But eventually when you do get somewhere in the game and then the, the boss comes out and then you reach the second level, things definitely get a lot more strategic and a lot more interesting. Uh, and I certainly find myself really enjoying this game and I'm pretty sure this game will be quite popular out there. Uh, one thing's for sure, it adds a heck of a lot of variety to this cart. This Indie Heroes Collection 3 is uh, sort of gearing up to be an absolute cracking cart so far. There's been probably every game has been good apart from maybe one so far, which bodes well for this collection. So as I mentioned earlier, eventually you will reach a sort of end of level boss, so to speak, um, and it's certainly a lot harder than any of the enemies you've faced so far, and that's where things certainly get a lot more interesting, a lot more exciting, <laughs> kind of a nerve wracking as well, um, and it certainly gets more um, fun to play. Um, I think up to that point I was definitely getting a little bit bored and wondering when things will actually change because it just felt like nothing was happening but eventually once your character has reached a certain point um, and I guess there's been enough cycles of day and night it'll, you'll reach a point and then you'll uh, get this end of level guardian so to speak before you can then move on to the next level and, and this part definitely got really interesting to me and yeah it certainly took the game to a, a different level um, which is good. So that's the game of the month um, for September on your Evercade EXP and VS which you can play right now um, and all through the month of September. Um, and I think this is actually a really decent game, it adds a good bit of variety to Indie Heroes Collection 3 which is certainly shaping up to be an absolutely brilliant cart so far. Uh, and this game is definitely massively different to anything else you'll see on Evercade. I can't really think of many games that are like this or even close um, and that's a really good thing. I think certainly the first level was a little bit boring at times, there was nothing really going on, but once you got to the end of level Guardian and even moved on to this um, second stage, things certainly get a lot more interesting and you definitely need to be a heck of a lot more strategic than I'm showing in this video. Um, and that's certainly good, I'm looking forward to playing it more, probably more so on the EXP on the go. Um, anyway guys, let me know what you think of the game. Do you think it's any good? Is this something that you would enjoy? Um, I certainly think it's really good. And um, like I said, it adds a lot of variety to this collection and I'm starting to really look forward to it when it comes out in February 2024. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one, guys.